recent trip to Tonga was at the invitation of the Tongan government through the Department of Foreign Affairs and Trade to go and help restore the electricity network in Tonga uh, after Cyclone Gita went through and created a fair bit of damage to the electrical infrastructure. We were asked if we would be interested in providing assistance in repairing the network. A uh, quick check with the family and the wife to make sure it was okay and I gladly accepted. There was a huge buzz within the company as soon as they decided we were going and yeah, a lot of people put in a lot of effort to get us there. There was people from Perth, people from uh, New South Wales, far north New South Wales, yeah. So the damage uh, on the island um, was evident from the moment we arrived. The network um, obviously involves a lot of overhead power lines and a lot of that was lying on the ground. We sat down with Tonga Power and um, they told us the extent of the damage to the island and then they gave us some options of jobs, where we should start and what we should do. From Tonga Power's perspective, they had prioritised where the power needed to be restored initially, um, based on humanitarian needs, medical centres, um, the hospital uh, and other community centres that are important. So they gave us the direction and, and our role was to simply go out uh, and make that happen and uh, get the power on as quickly as we could for those communities. The only time I've been out of Australia was on a cruise for my honeymoon. So other than that, I haven't travelled anywhere. So my family were concerned for my safety initially. I kept in contact with them the whole time and I think they put their mind at ease. There was definitely nothing to be concerned about. Some of the local dogs were a bit of a bit, bit of trouble, but apart from that, it was all good. The reception we got from the locals was outstanding. I remember the first day we went out uh, on site with a generator uh, and some of the local ladies came out with uh, pancakes and coconuts and donuts just to say thank you for being there. Um, and at that point we hadn't even turned the power back on. So, uh, and that was a daily occurrence for us. And usually we're turning the power off to do maintenance and, and people aren't so happy about that. But over here, when, when you turn that generator on and you heard the cheers, yeah, it made you feel very good about what you were doing. Yeah, yeah, you could hear, you could hear people in the, in the houses cheer as soon as the, yeah, the power come back on. Yeah, definitely. You walk down the street and everyone would be thanking you straight away. It's important from a global perspective that Pacific is our, uh, they're our neighbours. Uh, and I think we have the capacity to help. Uh, and I think when we have that um, capacity, we should, we should implement what we can to help those countries out. The fact that we were able to restore power in a matter of weeks is a, probably again a great example of why those things are very much worthwhile.